video. Um, today, uh, I want to talk about the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. Um, and it's sort of, I guess, impact or effect on uh, Global Dokkan and JP Dokkan and stuff like that, right? So, uh, we got missions and a Bandai Namco um, sort of like ID linking thing. Um, on both Global and JP, both games have actually got one of these, right? Um, which I guess, oh, here, we can just go ahead and quickly take a look at it. On the, so this is the Global one, right? Um, so there's, you know, stones and there's missions that can be done for both versions. Um, you know, there's going to be a lot of rewards, too, depending upon, like, the, like, tweets and stuff like that. Uh, followers of some of the official um, uh, media accounts, which will be good. Um, and then you get 15 stones. By linking the Bandai Namco ID linking mission. This is on both versions now. Both Global and JP have got this. Um, I don't know specifically how this is going to work with Global Dokkan. I don't know. Um, because the main... We're about to take a look at it. Here's the, the website for the Battle Hour. But we're about to take a look at it. The main focus, it seems like, for Dokkan is going to be about the the new like data feature that is out on GP, right? So if we go ahead and click this, and you're able to see, you know, your uh, account power level, you're able to see how many times you've used characters down here, right? Like, things like this are not yet out on Global Dokkan. So, again, I'm not really too sure um, how exactly it's going to work um, with Global, right, at, at the moment. So, yeah, okay, that basically, one of the main things, and, and again, for Global players, it's super easy to do this. For JP players... Um, you do have to have a Japanese sort of like Bandai Namco account, but it's it's actually like like very, very easy to do. You might need a VPN for it. Again, I don't typically, I'm not really the best. I mean, a, a lot of people are going to laugh out there, but I'm not really the best when it comes to like technical help and stuff like that. Like there's a reason I myself have never done a how to download JP Dokkan video and stuff like that, right? Because I just... I don't really feel super uh, qualified to talk about that type of stuff, but um, I did do the mission to get the 15 stones. Um, I mean, I, I actually, I'm not, well, damn it. Maybe I should have done this on video. I, that, that probably, because I, I do pretty much everything uh, in Dokkan on, on video. I probably should have made it a, pr a focus to do that. So there's, again, there's missions, um, which we could take a look at in a second. Is this going to, oh, oh, okay, it's right here. Yeah, here, here's the, the mission, right? 15 stones just to link, it's worth it, right? Even if you don't care about the battle hour or the data feature or anything like that that they're showing, um, it's still, you know, it's 15 stones, so it's actually pretty, you know, useful to have. Um, okay, so in order to get the 15 stones, um, they've added this new um, spot right here. So you can click this, right? And I I'm, I'm not going to click it, but basically... You're able to either use a current, like, Bandai, uh, like, Namco account that you've got. All you have to do is just have, like, a, a, a email, like, a burner email. Just an email not linked to, like, you know, a, 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 like, a, a U.S. or, I guess, wherever you are in the world, uh, Bandai Namco account. You just make one with an email, right? And then you just say that your location is in Japan. And that's, that's all it took for me. Like, I just used an email. Um, like a different email that I had. I just said my location was in Japan, and boom, it worked. Um, some people have talked about it not really being as simple for them. Like, it hasn't really worked like that. So, potentially, um, again, you might need a VPN. I'm not the greatest of VPN usage and stuff like that. I mean, to confess to you guys, I had a lot of difficulty originally downloading JP Dokkan for the first time. Because um, when I first started playing Dokkan... I was on Apple. I was I was on iOS, um, and it was it was difficult to download JP Dokkan for the first time for a dummy like me, right? Um, Android everything is seemingly way easier, right? But uh, on iOS it's tougher because you had to have like a, a Japanese iOS account and stuff like that, right? Um, so okay, but yeah, make sure to get that done, right? You'll get your 15 stones. Again, if you're on JP, I assume. The way that they will collect this data from people's accounts might be... It might only be accounts that have done this. That have actually done this Bandai Namco ID link. So, definitely um, sort of be on the lookout for that. And we'll see, right? Because um, I believe this this first one right here... This is uh, Hidden Potential System Nodes. The second one is Link Level 10s. 
Um, the third one, this is stages cleared. So, like, you know, you get, uh, like, one for, like, every new stage that comes out. And then the last one is Dokkan Awakenings. Um, those are all of the sort of, like, um, points that lead up to your account power level. Again, I, I think they, they really should work on, like, having, like, titles. Titles you get definitely should give you, um, points as well. I think there's no reason that, like, you know, what is this? this so this is hybrid. I think this is hybrid Saiyans. I've used hybrid Saiyans a hundred times right here. So that's what this is right there, right? Like, I, they really should sort of get it to where, like, these give you points for, for doing those. I believe that's hybrids. Um, I, I hate that when you click one. And then, so, like, if we just go all the way to the bottom, click this, and then hit back, and we're at the top again. I hate that. I wish it would keep our, our placement. That's, that's a huge pain in the ass. But, all right, so let's go ahead and switch over. Um, oh, I, I should show the missions real fast. Um, so, here are the Battle Hour missions. Um, so, just clear growth events. Again, just, like, orb stages. Um, clear story events, Dokkan events, get a character, Z Awaken a character, Dokkan Awaken character... Level up SA, do training, training location, use a support item, clear stages with only super attacks, exchange gems for items. Just very, very basic shit, right? Just very easy to get done missions. Okay, so here's, again, the battle hour. This is, a, I believe, a two-day event this year. Last year, it was like a, a damn near 16-hour marathon or something like that. Like, it was just an old day. Um, but this year, I think there's going to be two separate um uh like days where a lot of the stuff's gonna go on i presume they'll reveal the next lf on legends um potentially maybe we could see some really interesting stuff for some of these other games and stuff like that oh yeah i believe there is going to be some details about the movie here as well that'll be interesting to see um who knows um but all right let's go ahead and hit dokkan um and we'll take a look at uh some of the stuff we've got here so dokkan data so, they're going to analyze all the data, examine player trends. Oh, everyone loves using the Kamehameha team. Leaderboards on display. Maybe your name will pop up. Maybe. Um, five categories of super top secret data. Stamina, rank, login, characters, and summons. I, dude, like, rank? Like, rank 999? Okay. Like, that's, that's it's gonna be just a bajillion accounts at that. Stamina is interesting. I, guess, I wonder if this is how many people have, like, how much stamina you've used. Could be interesting. Login days? Like, I wonder if there's anyone that's logged in every single day. That'd be very interesting. Um, And then summons. Who knows? Like, who's done the most summons? I, I don't know. I, I don't... I don't think that that would be me, by the way. The character that's done the most summons. I've definitely been shafted, I feel like, harder than the other big-time whales. But keep in mind that my account was started after the second anniversary. So there's, like, almost two full years my account wasn't um, active, right? Um, so let's see. The Japanese version producer and the global version producer. We take in quiz based on the data. Um, check out the fun of Dokkan from all kinds of angles. Who knows? I, I I don't think that there would be anything revealed here, honestly, in terms of units. Because keep in mind, LR Kaioken Goku... I'm going to upload this video immediately after I'm done recording it. Um, LR Kaioken Goku and Vegeta come out in, like, five hours, right? They're a major release. I don't... They're not... The thing is, is that they're not going to reveal a big-time unit um, that might, like, step on the toes of Kaioken Goku and Vegeta, right? Like, I, I suppose they maybe could have set things up to where they announce those characters here. But since those characters are already announced, I don't think Dokkan... I would not anticipate any announcements or anything from Dokkan. I think they're probably just going to utilize this data feature to sort of cover, like, their block. But I, I maybe they could say, like, oh, maybe as part of version Z, we're going to do this, up the friend update next or something like that. No copium. Friend update's coming soon. I, I can feel it in my bones. World Tournament Revamp, man. They'll announce that. How about that? <laughs> um, Okay, so there's going to be the quiz. There's, yep, Dokkan. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, sending all players amount of stones is a present based on the results of the quiz. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so they better get that shit correct then. Damn. Join the quiz from the online arena. So there we go. There's the Dokkan stuff. I, I'm, again, I'm, I'm definitely going to be interested to see the leaderboards and stuff like that. Um, let me know what you guys think. I mean, there's a lot. I, I did see there's 
a couple of counts I saw that have higher power levels than mine, but it'll be interesting to see sort of how things um, shake up, right? So let me know what you guys think of the Dokkan account's power level system. Uh, make sure you guys get that uh, Bandai Namco uh, link mission done right here, especially if you're on JP and you want your, you know, stats and stuff like that to be used for the battle hour. You do want to make sure to do this. And I mean, dude, it's 15 stones for free, right? You know, the top legendary summon LRs, the seventh anniversary LRs are all out. So uh, let me know what you guys think of the battle hour and all this stuff. Thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.